Hi there. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I should start, like, I don't know. I just, I'm watching this really awkward TV show called America's Greatest Otaku. <laughs> I think it's ridiculous. But, a couple of the contestants have made a couple good points. One of them being, you know, well, it's just like any other sort of hobby or obsession that other people have. Like, some people are obsessed with doing, with different kinds of arts. Why just ours is a little different, a bit more extravagant and more unusual. And I agree with that. Like that's not Weeaboo status. That is the legitimate otaku. I don't even really like using the term because of people how people use it. Legitimate otaku. Yee. Actually taking the time and effort into it. Now what I don't appreciate is MG Kai Dasune. Uh, sugoi sugai yusu y why you so soon dead and haru chan you know all that BS <laughs> that is weeaboo that is what that is that is the group of people that call themselves otaku even though they really aren't I have a cosplay that I bought on cosplay magic for one hundred twenty eight dollars because my parents I totally managed my way into it but um. Yeah, I ain't no, I ain't no weeb, cause I know I know limits and everything, but I am also pretty. But I'm not exactly otaku material either. I got a couple plushies and art books, and I have cosplay. And I am learning the link. I am trying to learn the language to the fullest extent. I only know some here and there. If you watch my other videos, but um, no, no, it's all just kind of a process for me. Uh, I'm kind of in between here and there. Not in between we'd be like in between fan and otaku, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm not really sure why I'm making this video though. So I look so emo sauce. Oh. My hair looks so f like fine cut too, even though it's all jagged at the bottom because it's curling. Anyway, um. Yeah, so that's what's been going on with that. Just some of these people are like extreme collectors. Like I saw this one girl. She had like she made cosplays, like actually made straight up cosplays and they were amazing. Like not closet cosplay and then like OMG I'm so amazing. But like legit. Like total legitness. Like she had um she did um I can't remember her name, but she had pink long pink hair and wore green clothes and she was from air gear and she was kind of a whore <laughs> but she did her outfit perfectly um let's see she made the hat by herself and um on the legs on the pants she cut the pants and restitched them so it'd be just like hers and then she actually took like very fancy fabric paint so they'd be bright and vibrant and just whoosh on it and did like the designs perfectly she printed out the all the badges and stuff like on like like um she put it out in, like on a press where like it puts it in thick paper so it feels different you know thicker and stronger and not so like oh I printed it on paper and it was like so cool you know I appreciate that now if somebody just bought the outfit and didn't bother doing modifications or making it right to the character or just like put stuff out of their closet and then they call themselves awesome I appreciate your like self-respect and like proud and everything, but you gotta at least admit your own faults. So that's in the weeboo area, and then the other one I just described, otaku, you know that whole thing. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty much just done talking. Oh, that looks like a triangle. <laughs>